see too many visitors here with us. Uh, so we let you here on a very cold day. But you warm us up, grace us with your presence. Our family even come up from Florida because they like me so much they haven't let the child up here for me to baptize. You see, I'm so glad. Grateful for that. And then parents, grandparents here. You see, that's one of the Vietnamese traditions. Is the kids being baptized when the grandparent comes, not the grandparent comes. Because that's, you know, like the, the, the Asian tradition, the grandparent or the parent, if you don't have grandparents, is the head of the household. Everything goes there. You know? So just, just like the, the, the American culture, one of the New Year's edition, you know, like Christmas, you all go to your parents' home. So that's the, the Vietnamese tradition. All the sacraments go to your parents' home, parish, not yours. Because that's where. It is so glad you here. Welcome and good to have you with us. And I see many of you down there, which I will get to know you. Be careful because I meet people around here. Okay, so <laughs> you behave during the mass. If not, I'm, I'm not white, so you know, Asian, we meet up our children. So, <laughs> you know, you could what? Well, every year on the first minute of Lent, you hear about temptation, temptation, and temptation every year. And I mean, if you've been, what, 80 years of being on this earth, you have heard at least 80 homilies about temptation. Well, what is temptation? Is temptation a sin? Many people say, oh, don't, don't go there, it's a sin. No, no, temptation is not. Explain temptation. For example, you married, right? Well, you have to rest your child. <laughs> the husband and the father is he's married. He married a beautiful woman. But when he go out on the street, he sees another beautiful woman and says, ooh. <laughs> That's temptation. Am I right? Now that is not a sin. It's okay. It's not a sin. A sin is when we act. For example, another thing, you know I've got a hot temper. And when my temper rises, you know that, you know? You can see if my hair all stands up like that. You know, my veins coming out. Those are, those are the same. If I don't like something, if I get angry, I feel angry, it's okay. It's a sin when you take your anger out and act upon it. So temptation is not a sin. When we act upon it, it's a sin. When we go out on the street of the order man, let me tell you, it's, I was so careful. Last Friday, I was in Atlanta. You know, I had all thoughts up there, do my income tax and spend a little time with my mom and dad. I got a friend of mine who owned a car dealer. And so whenever there's a good car coming in that he just trade it and he did it so good, he called me. He called me. And I was so tempted to buy that car. Not temptation! I actually was thinking to buy the car to use. I'm thinking to buy the car so I can do the trade in and get $10,000 out of it. He had a 750 LI BMW 2010, fully loaded. And he said, I just bought it in for 44. The Blue Book value car for 58. I want you know, he said, Father, you should have the car. I said, yeah, I should have the car for about two months. <laughs> and then I sell it at 10 LI that temptation, right there. And he said, no, 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 no. I give it to you so you can use it. I give you that, not for you to resell it and make money out of it. But you see temptation when it's coming. Now if I act upon it, is that a sin? So there's a lot of temptation going around these days. Materials, temptation of the flesh, temptation of the eyes, Temptation of the tongue. Do you know what I did on Ash Wednesday? I ate meat. Isn't that bad? Your pastor ate meat on Ash Wednesday. And you know I don't eat a lot of meat these days because of my cholesterol is only 437. So my, if, that, if, if you look from 500 now, it's long. <laughs> you don't look from the 200 up, okay? So, I don't eat a lot of meat. I eat a lot of fish. But I ask 
class that I opened the door of the, the refrigerator, I saw a piece of meat, I popped up in and I feel so good. And after I swallowed that and got it in here, I remember, oh, today is Ash Wednesday. <laughs> temptation. So you know, many times we see temptation coming in a different way. Sometimes we see them coming, sometimes we don't. They just like the thief coming in the night. They like the curveball, right? You know, the umpire, umpire, empire, umpire, or whatever, but that's, you know what I'm talking about. On the baseball, you know how the curveball, you come, they go steep, no, they go around and they hit you flat in your face. <laughs> and they strike you out. How do you do the strike? This? Yeah. They strike you out. Curveball. You play soccer. You know, when they got a free kick, you know what people do? They do the, that three, four men standing like this. And when they kick the ball, curl right and they get into your goal. And if you are Spanish, when they get the goal, you know what they do? Goal! <laughs> Am I right? Maybe we got some bad to happen. I mean, he can go on and go, oh, oh. Every time I, I watch a soccer game in a uh, Spanish television, I know when they get a goal. You know? <laughs> They strike you out. Three strikes and you out. The good thing with God is 3,000 strikes and you're still in. Three million strikes, you're still in. God doesn't count the strike. He counts how many times you actually hit the ball. And if you can do it out of the park, what do they call? That's called home run, right? I'm not talking about this so. <laughs> Yesterday, I was very bad, right? I pitched it wrong yesterday. Because I talk about, well, every, well, you get nine chances, because you have nine in it. They say, no, you don't get nine chances. <laughs> because I talk to the strand, and that's how you go every back. They say, no, no, no. Like, so a few in it you have. So I said, oh, I was wrong then. That was last night. I learned my mistake. <laughs> but you get a chance to go back and back and hit the ball. Life is a time for you and I to take that chance back. It's a chance for us to hit the ball. Before we hit the ball, we gotta practice. You know, curve ball, straight ball, fast ball, slide, whatever, <laughs> slide the ball. <laughs> anyway, you gotta practice. You wanna make sure your back is good. You don't want a broken back. You wanna make sure you stand and right to hit it. Because if not, it hurts your lower back. I don't know what did I do, but I totally numbed my foot, the thing on and numbed my right shoulder because I feel nothing. It's so pain last night. So I just put the things on there so to numb it. And I see a, a, what they call neurologist, whatever that is. It's been about two minutes and it gets worse and worse. It just, you feel the tingling on it, you know, just like a nerve. But I didn't want it. But that's what we do. We don't know how to do it. Right. Land is a time for us to do that. On Ash Wednesday, I call Lamb is a time when Catherine do the colonoscopy. It's clear out the system, buddy. A spiritual system. I'm serious. Is that colonoscopy? Is that right now? No? Yeah. I say, why don't we do both? Colonoscopy and ankyloscopy. Oh, man. How's that sound? It doesn't even matter. Clean out your spiritual system. <laughs> Tune it up. You do it to your car all the time. You do it to well, whatever it is, you can do it all the time. Spiritual we don't. We just think we can run on and on and on and on and we wonder why our spiritual machines are broken down. Well, today, just like the sound of great joy, they was happy. Everybody here to this joy is baptized. But if we don't feed her, we don't do all those physical check-up, this child is going to go up healthy. You know why I'm this many illnesses today? Because I grew up in Vietnam. I didn't have to check up. I'm going to end the physical like you. I only go see the doctor when I'm about an eye. That's what we do with our bodies. Let's do it right. Season of life is a time when you and I are going to get it right. We're going to make sure the bed is good, the, the
the, the, how we stand in life, we're going to know how to hit the ball out of the ball. First thing to know is reconciliation. It's important. Absolutely important. I think we have neglected that sacrament for years. People always ask me, why do I have to go talk to a priest? I said, you know what, that's kind of funny. Because all the sacrament, you always want a priest to be there and accept the sacrament for reconciliation. Isn't that right? Baptism, they want to make sure not a priest and a two. Where do they want to, oh, we're going to be congruent. Oh, no, no, we want a priest. Every other sacrament, they want a priest to be there, except oh, reconciliation. No, I don't want him. Why? It's just a personal. That's it. It has nothing to do with the sacrament. So let's do it. This Wednesday night, I normally have the 7 o'clock panel service. I move it to 6 o'clock so that the elders can come out under the light. That's right. He didn't even laugh about you not coming out. Thank you, Abraham. So, Wednesday, that's right. Do it. Come out, clean up the system. Free. For free. Every Saturday, you could come in, clean it for free. Saturday appointment with Father Isidore and I, for free. Every Monday, you know, from 6 o'clock we're in land. From 6 o'clock we have the Bible study session. From 5.30 to 6, I will be in the reconciliation room. Come, free check up. Free tune up. Flush out the engine. No appointment needed. Even you do the oil change. Guarantee get out in 10 minutes or it is free. Well, if you, I keep you in there more 10 minutes, not my fault. It's all yours. <laughs> if you haven't been there for maybe 352 years, no, I don't do that. But guarantee, get out in 10 minutes. Clean. Absolutely clean. Bring you back, not just a tune-up, to what to the old regional that God has created you to be with. Restore the complete power. Talk about miles per gallon? Absolutely good. 3,000 miles per gallon. You don't have to pay that even. So every oil change, you don't even have to pay for a gas tank. God already paid it. Right? But he stressed on his heart. Pay every bill for you and for me. What you waited for. 